Hey guys, um, today I received a crazy text from a guy that I went on three hinge dates with. Chivalry is not dead. Um, okay. <laughs> and here's the text. I wanted to say, hi Nicolette, I called you as soon as I got this. Hannah is going to take it away and read it. Okay, I'll go kill it. Okay, so I have some things to say and I mostly want to preface by saying how much I've enjoyed talking to you and seeing you the last couple of weeks. I think you're so gorgeous and naturally beautiful and I want to stare at you, your smile all day long. You're perfectly goofy and don't take yourself too seriously. You're so caring and I have a lot of love and energy to, and have a lot of love and energy to give and I can see that every day. <laughs> I could tell right away that we had similarities and I loved how you pointed out that your parents were in, so in love and it seems like you want to have the same kind of love as them. The hard part is I thought it was tough to have a really good physical connection that matches everything else between us. I know it sounds terrible to say, and like I have no right at all, but I have to be honest because my life revolves around staying fit. <laughs> That's just who I am, and it's something I've been thinking about since Friday, and the right way to say this that makes you understand how much I appreciate you. Yeah, you really... <laughs> I don't even want to say this, and I'm dreading sending it, because truly, I don't want you out of my life, but right now, it's just not the right time. Even with that said, I would love if you reached out at some point in the future, and I could very easily see if you grinded hard for six months, or a year, or whatever it is. Honestly, I would marry you. What? <laughs> so I did cry a lot after, after receiving this, being told that I'm too fat for this guy. <laughs> Half marathon this Saturday. I'm gonna and lose, he knows that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. lose 20 pounds and I'll see him and we're gonna get married. Also, look, he'd probably really be upset right now that I'm eating. Yes, it'll be bad. bad. Um, <laughs> I did debate not eating today though, after getting this sex. Okay, yeah. His name is Sean Callahan and he went to Notre Dame. I don't know if that's stupid low, but <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you're under a hundred pounds. Don't go out with this guy. <laughs> Unless you want this text. I'm not going to respond, but if I did, these are the, some of the we responses. Were yeah, we're brainstorming. Yeah, we're brainstorming. We were going to say, if you were going to pay for my liposuction, could we get married <laughs> faster? Um, what was the, yeah, what was the other one? Um, yeah, wait, there's some that we can't say, but we decided to just, you know what? Bye, mister. <laughs> what? what, what? So they went on a date. He really enjoyed it, but she was too heavy for him. So he gave her a criteria to meet. And if she meets it, they'll get married. Yeah. So he actually went out on three dates with her. And he's basically said, you are the perfect woman. And I want to be with you. But, you know, I'm all about fitness and you're not fit enough. So, yeah, if you want to take six months out to become fit and then come back... I'll be with you. But then she's not perfect, is she? Like, how can he say all those things and then be like, but lose 20 pounds? Yeah, but, okay. In my opinion, if a guy really, really likes a woman, he's not just going to let her walk out his life. No. Especially not for something so petty. In my mind, that's petty. You might disagree, but I think... Oh, no, that's ridiculous. She didn't look very... She didn't look very... She didn't look fat in the video either. No, she didn't. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a big shame. Either it's a cop-out, I don't know. But um, if you really like someone and you like everything else about them and you wanted them to become a bit more fit, maybe you could do it as you're going on a journey together. Hey, why don't you come and work out with me? Hey, you can make it flirty and fun. Let me be your personal trainer. Like you could do anything instead of just being like, yeah, I'm out unless you lose weight in six months. No, see, th this is th this is so dumb. They went on three hinge days. Yeah. And he said he really liked her. Yeah. But he put a criteria on them being together. Yeah, he's the idiot in this situation, he is in the my complete opinion. Complete idiot, and he's wrong. I think. Like, I think if a guy likes you, he'll move heaven enough to be to like at least get Correct. your attention. Yeah. But um, I don't think he liked her. I just think he didn't know how to put her down gently. Even though that is a insanely stupid thing to send to someone. And yeah, I think if you get into a relationship with someone, I think that you're supposed to commit. Like come, like come, what may? And you're supposed to be there for them if they get overweight and they're one of those people that listens then you can be like listen you know we can do this together blah 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 i'm not gonna go out of my way to help somebody on a hinge date mm -hmm. i'll just say that but i'm also not gonna send a dumb message like that i'll either be like look it's not for me i'm not gonna say you're perfect i want to marry you but lose 20 pounds the fuck is that that's ridiculous it's he if it is a cop-out he could have just stopped that now's not the right time for me 
because yeah. he went now's not the right, but now's not the right time and then he started going on about this whole fitness thing and and, and weight loss and it's just um how dare he uh, how dare he try and put her down about her her physical appearance instead of just saying do you know what you're not the right girl for me i'm not feeling it or whatever you want to say you, you'd you'd have been better off just going ghost yeah, I, I'd rather a guy go ghost than say to me, "I don't want to be with you because of your physical periods." Why did you go on three dates with me in the first place? Don't see me after the first date if I'm too fat. Yeah, I mean, his, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, a, a physical fitness is important to me. Yeah, uh, and I don't mind if a girl doesn't go to the gym. I just it would bother me if she was clearly like losing control of herself and not doing anything about it. But on a hinge date, if I've gone on a hinge date of a fat girl, not that she wasn't fat, she wasn't fat. But at if all. I have gone on a hinge date of a fat girl and I get there. The first date, you can be like, okay, I got catfished. I didn't know how to like turn them down, so I went on the date. And then I wouldn't message back. The second, Why are you going on a second date after that? Why are they, you going on a third? Why are you going on a third? And then sending a message like that, I'll marry you if you lose 20 pounds. So what's going to happen if they get married and she gains the 20 pounds? You're going to file for divorce. He's a, the guy's an idiot. I, just, I, don't know, I don't know how else to say. He's a moron. You don't do that on, on dating, dating apps. I, I don't know, but I'm, I I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, I just think you sh- you shouldn't do that in general. It's like it's almost as if he was saying he's too embarrassed to be seen with her. Yeah, I, I like is, you, but undercover. People, a lot of the time, I, I found with a lot of people these days, they date for appearances. They don't actually pay attention to what matters. They are too worried about how everybody else is going to view it. Like I've got a friend who will only go out of girls that have like big fake tits and 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 blonde or whatever but it's your that's your personal preference and taste no 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 but i have conversations with him and he says to me that he likes a certain type of girl that he likes how those girls are, but he also likes another type of girl who is who you wouldn't say is conventionally attractive right he likes kind of he, he likes chubby girls and he likes very pale girls but he won't go out of one because he doesn't want to be seen a certain way because he's of a certain status and I think people like that are going to be miserable. If you put too much stake on something like that and you don't just enjoy the moment with something, they don't have to be a 10 out of 10. All, this, all these beauty standards that, that we have forced down each other's throats these days is, is like ruining relationships. It's, yeah, social media, I think, is playing a big part in that as well because you're right. It's, it's all to do with like status and um, how things look to everyone else. Yeah. And relationships is included in that. I, I understand it because when I was younger, I cared about how like my boys viewed me. I never really cared about how everybody viewed me, but I did care about how my boys viewed me. And so if I got with a girl that I didn't think they were going to rate very well, I wouldn't really mention it. But that was when I was younger. As a grown man now, I don't know how old that girl is. I couldn't care less what people say. I, if I like the person, then I like the person. That's it. Yeah. Their opinion does not come Look, into it. Physical appearance is important. I will, I will always say it. When, when people say looks don't matter, looks aren't everything. I, me personally, I think it is. Mm. If I didn't like something, I mean, I wouldn't be a shallow to say you're too fat, I won't date you. But if I wasn't physically attracted to someone, then I wouldn't go back out with them after the first date. Mm. And I definitely wouldn't use that as an excuse to let them down. I understand, like, sometimes you don't want to be seen out with certain people. Yeah. No, no, I, I just, why, who are you going out with that you don't want to be seen with? No, like, I don't know, there might have been guys before, like, that liked me, and they were nice, mm. I wouldn't say we were compatible, I wouldn't say I fancied them, but I just also kind of didn't want to be seen out with them, and that's how I knew, yeah, I don't like this guy, I can't continue this because that's not the right emotion to be feeling towards someone, especially if it's going to be a life partner. But... So you're saying you didn't want to be seen out with them, but would you be okay being indoors with them? I mean, okay, maybe I'd enjoy their company, but I wouldn't enjoy it to the point where I'm like, yeah, I want you to be my husband and spend the rest of my life and wake up next to you every day. Mm. So, okay, so you just didn't like them then. It wasn't that you were outdoors with them, you just didn't like them. Yeah, and I also didn't want to be seen out with them. Yeah, because you don't like them, right? You didn't like them, but you were embarrassed of what society thought. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It makes sense in my head. Okay, wait. Let me let me let me lay out the framework. Yeah. You weren't embarrassed to be outside of them. You just didn't like them, or yeah, both. you like them, no, but you didn't want people to know you liked a person like this. No, it's nothing to do with that. It was just more so. I don't want to be seen out with you in a romantic way. Because. Because you're just not it for me. 
Okay, so you don't like them? Yeah, and I don't want to be seen out of them. It's both. Yeah, because you don't like them, right? Because if I like a guy and I fancy the pants of him, I, w- I want to show him off to the world. I want everyone to see. Yeah, th- okay. <laughs> you're, say- you're saying the same thing. Yeah, sorry. I don't personally, I, looks do matter to me, obviously. Like, it, I can't be with somebody I'm not attracted to. Yeah. But if the person I'm attracted to, everybody else on the planet finds them unattractive, I don't care. Because they're not going to be at my funeral. They're not going to be at my wedding. They're not going to be any of those places. I'm going to be alone with that person. So I don't particularly care what other what people think. I mean, with the things I say on this channel, people know I don't care what they think anyway. So I'm not going to care about who I am dating. You know, I don't care what people have to say about it. But I know a lot of people date that way. They will not date a certain person because of how their circles might see it or how society might see it. Mm. And that, that might be what and he was gonna doing. they're going to live a long, lonely, miserable life. They will, but... they'll never be truly fulfilled because they're not going to get what they want either. No, they won't get what they want. They'll, yeah. um, they'll get what they deserve. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately that happens to a lot of people, you know. I think people are too concerned with the whole the grass is green on the other side rather than the grass is greener where you water it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know... It's just that's a mad thing to say to somebody lose twenty pounds. <laughs> I could never. I just rather go and graph for six months for me because yeah. I deserve a slim girlfriend. He didn't want you. He just didn't, didn't have the balls to say. No, he didn't but have she the balls handled to say. it so well. I know she said she cried for a couple of days. Naturally, she was probably crying more. The fact like it hurts to be criticized like that. Yeah. I stopped talking to a guy one time because he's he spoke about my physical appearance. Do you know that? I think you told me about. Yeah. It. I've had a girl speak about my physical appearance before as well. I just said, okay. She said, you're too skinny. I was like, okay, well, I guess that's it then. I just, that was, it was over. This guy tried to come back and talk to me again recently. And I was like, no. They always come back. They Absolutely come not. And he's like, oh, you just took it in the wrong way. I wasn't meaning it like that. And I said, but what did you, he say you again? said what you said. I'm not saying it on here. I'll tell you off camera, but I was like, you said what you said, and I can't see past that. I'm sorry. I, look, I've had loads of things said to me. I've been told I'm too skinny. I'm too fat. I've been told that uh, my hair is too funky. That was a word the girl actually used. My hair's too funky. Um, I've had the whole, I can't introduce you to my parents because you're black. Uh, I've had the tattoo thing. I've had loads of different things from different people. And each time, you just got a lot you just laugh at it. Like, what I've, am I supposed to do? Yeah, no, I get it. I've had... The only thing people have really said to me is I'm too skinny, but they've not said it in a way of you're too skinny, I don't want to be with you. It's just been in conversation sometimes. What, what, just outright saying you're too skinny? Like, people have just made comments sometimes. Like, one time a comment got made to me and I was just like, rah. Like, well, are so they like backhanded comments or is it in your face, like... No, it was, yeah, it was like, ugh, I don't want to explain it. I don't want to no, hot up my fine. business on that. But <laughs> it, it doesn't bother me though. Like, yeah, I'm skinny. If you don't like skinny girls, don't talk to me then. Go find mm. yourself a girl who's got a bit more meat. I am the way I am. Mm. I've got a fast metabolism. I'm not going to go get surgery because you like a bigger woman. I'll go to the gym when I feel ready to go to the gym. And mm. if you don't like the size of me, don't be with me. Yeah, I don't get people that go for people that they don't like. Like, why would you go and date somebody that you are so critical about? I wouldn't even give them the time of day. I'd take yeah. one look at them and be like, I'm never going there. But maybe the skinny girl can treat you better than the fatter girl. Skinny girls are in right now. Maybe the skinny girl might be the best thing that ever happened to you. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Anyway, that's Definitely. a mad thing. <laughs> that's a mad <laughs> thing to say to someone. Yeah. Are we done? Yeah. Cool. Oh, now that I think of it, I've been body shamed a lot. I've been shamed for my tattoos. Uh, yeah, you can come back. I've been shamed for my tattoos a lot. Now that I think about it. Like like saying what though? Uh, so I've had that, uh, they, it looks like you're in a gang. Um, no, it really doesn't. I had a family member say that you look like a thug. It really doesn't. Um, I had someone say that, yeah, I can't, you can't, you can never meet my parents because of your tattoos. But some of us, that that more so I could maybe understand. Mm. Um, like you wouldn't bring a hoe to meet your mum. Comparing me to a hoe? No, but it's just about, you know, family values and things like that. And some families don't like all that shit. No, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I, I told somebody that I'd be getting more because obviously my chest is half done. Yeah. And um, they were like, okay, you're going to get more after that. And I was like, yeah, because uh, I'm going to get my ribs done. 
And they were like, oh, it's too much. And I was just like, you knew this, but look at my chest. You're already it's covered, not, though. It's not that. It's not that dramatic. It's not. It's that, not that bad. I'm, t- I'm, I'm not covered. No, like, but if you no, know, like, but what I'm saying is that you've already got a lot. Mm. So anything else you get now is not going to be overpowering because you've already got a lot. Yeah. The only thing that's, that's really going to change on me is my back. My back will look different soon. But other than that, anyway, it doesn't matter. These guys probably don't give a shit. Michael. What? It's your channel. Express how you feel. No, I, I'm fine. I don't. I mean, the guys body shame me all the time. You know, I'm used to it. Saying what? Uh, what did Jamie call me the other day? <laughs> oh, he's, he uses so many names. I can't even repeat the name that I I call him. Will get cancelled. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, it's fine. Like everyone gets body shamed. I actually saw a video the other day. Um, of, I think it was a video or. A speech that Billie Eilish gave And she was saying how women have it so much harder And when When it comes to men's bodies They don't get shamed at all They don't get made to feel like small or anything about their bodies But with women they're constantly body shamed Which is a load of bullshit I don't think that's bullshit at all That is not. That is bullshit How many times have you heard guys getting body shamed? Not a lot You hear it I, in the goddamn not chat a lot. Not a lot I could probably like name you loads of women that get body shamed but i don't ever hear men getting body shamed ever short guys get body shamed all the time fat guys get body shamed all the time dad bods most girls like a dad bod uh most girls say that and then it crunch time comes and they're in bed with not really i don't i disagree with you on that one women definitely have have it harder and have a lot more pressure it's not about having it harder it's not about she said men don't we do get body shamed. Men, men do, but not as much as women. Uh, it's not her point no, was not women have it harder. Then yeah, women do. No, have no it harder. she wasn't saying women have it harder. She's saying men don't get body shamed. She's saying men don't get I body mean, shamed. I that is a load of bullshit. I can tell you, as a man who has been body shamed by women that had no business body shaming me, they looked in the mirror. Can I just say I've never heard a man getting body shamed? Well, you're not a man. No, but if men were really getting it, like as much as you're saying, I would have heard it enough times, whereas you could blink and you'll see a woman getting body shamed. No, guys get body shamed all the time. We literally did a video the other day of them shaming Nigel Farage. She just said you get you got the face that you deserve. That's it's barely going, oh, look at the way his bum sticks out, or oh, look at the size of his feet. Or, do you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it's not. I'll line it out for you. Guys get shamed on their weight a lot. They get shamed on their it. height. They get shamed on their dick size. Is that not a thing? Um, I don't know. You don't think... Okay, do you think guys get shamed by women if they don't have at, at least a couple of inches? Yeah. All right. Okay, and it's a, it's a big, okay, and big men shame women about the size no, of sad, their bums sad. and the size of their tits. It's so not let's a not go there. It's not a competition. No, it I'm is. not saying it women is. don't get shamed. Men judge everything the size of a girl's lips, the size of a girl's nose, the size of a girl's head, her boobs, <laughs> her bum, her legs, sad, sad, her, sad. her shoulders, her back, her arms, Jamie. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, they, it's just everything. I'm not, it's not a competition. I'm not saying you don't get shamed. I'm saying. The idea that we don't get shamed is bullshit. I'm not saying you don't get shamed. I've watched you get shamed by the guys in the group chat the same way they shame me. I'm not saying women don't get shamed. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Right. I'm saying men get shamed and Billie Eilish saying that is a load of bullshit. Okay, As because a man, you rarely see it happen. I have experienced it. Okay, I really see it happen. Because <laughs> you're a woman and you hang around with women. You even said you're a girl's girl. You don't hang around with guys. So of course you would really see it happen. I hang around with a plethora Shall of I men. Shall I get the violins out? Michael's created a Discord for us. Yeah, 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 um, we've created a Discord. Well, we've... Michael's created a Discord for us. You posted about it the other day on our... Um, is it a community? Or? Yeah, no, yeah, basically our WhatsApp thing was... A bust. Yeah, the WhatsApp thing wasn't as good because we weren't able to actually talk and communicate with people because WhatsApp's not giving you that privacy of hiding your number. So we've created a Discord now so that anybody who wants to interact with us more, even on a day-to-day, the link's going to be in our description. Mm. And you'll be able to have a browse in there and see how many different sort of chats there are that Michael's, that we've created. Yes. And um, yeah, just just 
get connected with us. Me and Sabi are the moderators, obviously. So for now, we'll remain the moderators. Although at some point, if it grows to a, a substantial size, then we'll elect people to do the moderation, people that we trust. But for now, you'll be able to go in there, interact with us. You can have general chit chat. You can debate the topics. I've broken everything down into sections so you don't get lost. I've left little messages everywhere so people know where they're going. If you've never used Discord before um, and you want to do it on your phone, you can just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Download Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D, and then we'll send you the, the Midnight Rubbish link will be in the description. And then just, you know, have a read over the rules. Don't break the rules. Obviously, I am lenient, but you know, nothing that is going to get us in trouble. But you can also send us videos there as well, because I know a lot of you send them to our emails and we... We try to check them as much as possible, but it can get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, you can send us videos that you want us to react to. And you can also just send videos, maybe short ones, that you just want to get our quick opinion on that's not worth us actually filming a video on. And then that way, you know, you're still getting to see a bit more. Yeah, and there might be other stuff in there. You know, if me and Sabi start doing some traveling, we might like film some vlogs. The description will have the Discord link and we'll be updating it periodically i mean right now it's busy because of christmas but yeah yeah also don't forget to like comment subscribe on the videos guys it does help us out a lot michael promised he would never ever say that one day i, I did promise but i'm not doing it in a video so they've already seen the video this is not interrupting them i don't want to be one of those youtubers that, that says that stops the video halfway but definitely like comment and subscribe yeah it does it does help us out 